everyone, this is Midnight Mommy. So, ito yung part 2 na aking tutorial on motion graph. So, this time, ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung makukuha natin na values kapag meron kayong velocity versus time graph. So, itong tutorial na to, meron to another part. So, ito yung pang third part natin. So, velocity versus time din, pero iba naman yung i-compute niya na quantity. So, for this case, let's say meron tayong velocity versus time graph. Um, gamitin natin yung slope formula para ma-solve yung slope ng isang line. So let's say, kukunin natin yung slope ng line okay, from this point here up to this point. Okay, so identify natin yung slope dyan. So remember sa math na kapag kumukuha tayo ng slope, as long as um, straight line niya, ibig sabihin kahit anong point dyan, pwede natin kuhanin or pwede natin i-consider any two points. So in this case, para mas madali, gamitin na lang natin yung extreme lines na to. Okay, so let's solve for the slope. So, ang slope natin, again, ang formula niya is uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, consider natin ito as my um, first point. Okay? And then, ito yung aking second one. Okay. So, ano yung mga values natin? Dito, ang y sub 2 natin. Okay, so, pansinin nyo, ito yung point na yun. Ano? So, ang y sub 2 nyo, this one will be equal to negative 4. Okay, so, this is negative 4 meters per second. So, so subtract natin siya dun sa y sub 1. So, ang y sub 1 natin dito, okay? So, at this point, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that's positive 4 meters per second. Okay, so, tingnan naman natin x sub 2. So, ang x sub 2 natin is ito yung x-axis natin. Okay, so, ito ay may value na. So, if this is, if this is 5, this is 6, 7, 8. Ayan, so 8. So meron tayong 8 seconds. Okay, so i-minus natin to sa ating y, x sub 1. So x sub 1 natin is nandito, no? Okay, so that one is 0. Ayan, so hindi natin yung value natin. So meron tayong negative 4 minus negative 4 will give us negative 8. Okay, ito is meter per second. Over 8 seconds minus 0, so that will give us 8 seconds. So, kung mapapansin nyo, pag sinimplify natin to, this one uh, will become negative 1 meter per second squared. So, since yung unit niya is meter per second squared, therefore, ang nakuha natin na value for the slope, okay, so the slope of a velocity versus time graph is actually equal to your acceleration. Yan. Dun sa una kong part ng motion graph, kapag meron tayong position versus time, kapag kinompute natin yung slope ng graph, ang nakukuha natin na value is the velocity. Pero this time, kapag meron tayong velocity versus time graph, every time na ipocompute natin yung slope, ang nakukuha natin na value dun is actually your acceleration. So I'll give you another example. Okay. So let's say this time naman, i-compute naman natin yung acceleration ng object na to, okay, from the time of 20 seconds up to 24 seconds. Okay, so itong time na to. Okay, so let's find um, the acceleration for the time interval na 20 seconds up to uh, 25 seconds. Okay, so again, pwede tayo rito first mag-identify um, kung ano yung first point natin and yung second point. So let's just say ito yung first point, ito yung ating second point, yung extremities niya. So let's compute for the acceleration. So again, the formula for the acceleration is by using the slope formula. So meron tayong y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So yung y sub 2 natin dito, so ito yun ano, okay? So yung y component niya, this one is equal to, so dito siya kapantay, so meron tayong 4 meters per second. Okay. Minus y sub 1, so nandito siya, so yung y sub 1 natin dito, this one is equal to 0. Okay, so, this is 0. Okay. Over yung x sub 2 natin. So, x sub 2 natin dito is ito siya. No? So, meron tayong 24 seconds minus yung ating x sub 1. So, ito po yun. So, x sub 1 natin is this one. So, meron tayong 20 seconds. Okay. So, simplify natin to. So, meron tayong 4 meters per second over um, 24 minus uh, 20 will give us uh, 4 seconds. So, therefore, 4 divided by 4 will give us 1. So, this is 1 meter per second squared. Ayan. So, therefore, ito po yung ating acceleration. Okay. So, kung mapapansin nyo, kung, iko, kung ito, iko compare natin doon sa so nakuha natin kanina. Kanina, it's negative 1 meter per second squared. So, ibig sabihin, nagkakaroon ka ng 
um, negative value for the acceleration. And kung ditingnan mo siya sa graph, it's going downwards. So dito naman sa case na to, yung acceleration natin is positive. Kaya kung papansin nyo, yung line din natin dito, it is going upwards. Okay? So also take note na kapag meron kayo nakita na horizontal line sa isang velocity versus time graph, ang ibig sabihin nito is that at this point, yung acceleration nyo is just equal to zero. Kasi zero lang yung kanyang slope. Kasi if you notice, ang ating velocity dito is hindi siya nag-change. So the velocity here is constant. Kaya yung acceleration nyo is also equal to zero. Yeah. So sana po nakatulong sa inyo itong video na to. So for my next video, yung ituturo ko naman doon is uh, motion graph na velocity versus time pa rin, pero ibang quantity naman yung ating isusol.